today we are going to create an effect like this and turn an image like this into something like this hello everyone welcome back to yet another design video and for those who don't know me i am dd a photoshop enthusiast and graphic designer and here on this channel i share my design process in photoshop to create something artistic and in the way we discuss various tools techniques and tips and tricks which can improve your workflow and level up your graphic design game the fractal glass effect in photoshop is like turning your image into a beautifully broken piece of art on purpose imagine what it would look like if you are seeing it through a textured glass but in a cool artsy way we start with a basic texture or image throw on photoshop's glass filter and suddenly boom add a few layer styles to make it shiny and 3d looking and you will have a cool design with mixes structure with randomness the process is very simple and i am going to show you the whole step by step process so let's get going choose the canvas size of your choice and we'll drag in the image and resize and reposition as we like I'll be keeping it here and rename this layer as image because we'll be keeping it as it is. And now we make a duplicate of this image layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J and rename this one as effect because we'll be applying all the filters and effects on this layer. Just make sure that your image layers are smart objects so that they are fully editable and we can make any changes to them at any point of time. Now we have to make the glass texture and we have to do that in a separate canvas and for that we will go to home again and create a 100 pixel by 100 pixel canvas and here we will click on the gradient tool. We have to make a basic black and white gradient, leave the rest as it is and now we click and drag like this to make the gradient. You can do that in opposite direction to make it the other way and if you want the gradient horizontal you have to drag it top down like this or the opposite. If you want the textures vertical do it sideways or if you want them horizontal do it top down. I will keep it like this and go to edit menu here and click on define pattern. You can change the name if you want or leave it as it is and then press ok to save it. I am not doing that because mine is already there. Now you can close this canvas because we no longer need it. You don't have to save the canvas. And then again we go to home and create another canvas that will be definitely bigger and I am keeping it the same size of my original canvas. In here we again go to edit menu and this time click on fill and in the content here we have to select the pattern and in the custom pattern here you will be able to find the pattern we just saved earlier. We'll select that and leave everything else as it is and click ok and our texture is ready. Now we have to save this canvas and for that we will press Ctrl or Command S, give it a name like vertical lines and press save. We can now close this canvas and come back to our main canvas, select the FX layer, go to filter menu and click on filter gallery. A new window will open, let's zoom out a little. In here the filter we are looking for is located under the distort tab and it's the glass. On the right hand side we get bunch of different options to play with and we are gonna adjust them to shape our effect. In the texture drop down you will get some options by default but because we want to use our own custom texture we have to click here and click load and then go to the destination folder where we have saved our texture file and select that and click load and now it will show up. We can now adjust these sliders and create the effect we want. They are pretty self explanatory and you can experiment your way. And when you are done just click ok and here we have our fractal glass effect. It's that simple. Just as clicking the like button down there. What? You don't believe me? Go ahead and try it out. But do that only if you found this video helpful and it will help the channel to grow and keep me going. And if you are interested in learning more such effects then subscribe the channel and clicking the bell icon right next to the subscribe button will ensure you are being notified of all my future videos. If this is what you are looking for then you can stop this video here but if you want it to look a little more polished and refined and want your creation to be a little more professional then we have to carry out some more steps and trust me you won't regret that. First thing we're gonna do is add some blur to the image so that it looks more realistic because we are looking through a textured glass, not a clear glass. 
for that we have to keep the fx layer selected and go to filter then blur and click on gaussian blur adjust the radius to a lower number just a little bit of blur is required here i think this much is fine this was before and this is after i'm still not satisfied something is missing can you feel that when light passes through a textured glass there will be some amount of refraction it may be very negligible but it will be there we'll try to add that effect and for that we again go to filter gallery click here to add a new filter and this time go to texture folder and click on grains and now depending on the look and feel you want you can choose the grain type and adjust the sliders i will keep it like that and hit okay and lastly we'll add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and increase the lightness a little bit I want the adjustment layer to affect only the effect layer so we will have to clip it and for that we will hold the alter option key and bring the cursor in between the layers and when the cursor changes like this just click i'll do some more refinements and we are done the effect is complete but as we are making a poster out of it we will be adding some text and mingle it with our effect to create something unique we'll select the topmost layer and activate the text tool and click anywhere on the canvas and type in our text i'll be typing just the letter s make it bigger and i'll be selecting a font called bentoga it's free and i'll be leaving the links of all the resources in the description Activate the transform tool by clicking on any of the anchor, hold the alter option key and drag it by the anchor to resize it. I will make a duplicate of this text by holding the alter option key and bringing the cursor above the text and when the cursor changes like this, just click and drag and place it where you like. Then double click on it and edit it. In this way, I will be forming the word and place all the letters randomly over our image. I'm done and now we'll select all these text layers by holding the shift key and clicking on the topmost and the bottommost layer and turn them into a smart object because I want to keep my options open to be able to edit it later if required. Let's rename this as text and now we have to make a selection of this text layer. For that hold the controller command key and click once on the icon of the text layer and the selection will be activated. Keeping the selection active. We will go to the effect layer and add a layer mask to it. Where are the effects gone? Don't worry, it's there. We just have to turn off the visibility of the text layer and there it is. If you want it that way, you can keep it like that. But I want just the opposite. That is the effect should appear all over except the letters. So I will select the layer mask and press controller command I to invert the mask and there we have it. But it's not prominent and barely noticeable. To make it pop, we have to apply some effects and for that we will double click here on the blank space of the effects layer to open the layer style dialog box and the first effect we are gonna apply is bevel and emboss. I have already made the adjustments and I would recommend you to do your part of the experiment with all the options available here. Next we are gonna add a outer glow, it will be very subtle. We are done here, I will add one more thing and it will be a drop shadow but it will be very subtle because it's a glass. It's all done and now let me show you one more magic. If you go to the FX layer and click once on this chain like icon, it will unlink the mask and now if you select the layer mask and you can move this text wherever you want. Amazing isn't it? We can also resize it if we want. And now I will be adding two more pieces of text. And 
and this completes our poster for today. Did you like it? Hopefully you did and are inspired enough to create your own. I keep experimenting and create some unique effects and if you are same as me then we will be meeting soon. Till then you can watch this video which is a cool variation of today's effect.